This is Zach and I'm going to install your Amazon Buy with Prime app. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm here in the dashboard of my own Shopify store. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to apps on the left side here. Open up the apps and probably we can just type in Amazon for now. Let's check here. Buy with Prime. Ah, uh, there we go. I think that's what we're looking for. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, this app is not compatible with my store. Probably because I am in Japan. Have business address set in the United States. Okay, so scratch that. We're going to open up one of my development stores. Now, this is where you want to be in your dashboard and check out the apps. Now, let's see if we can do buy with Prime. Now that this store is a USA store, there we go. All right, let's install it. <clears throat> install app. Okay, buy with Prime, this is just next, next, next. Allow shared inventory. So if you're using the Amazon multi-channel fulfillment app, okay, so this is all very important information, actually. This is important. If you're using the Amazon multi-channel fulfillment app, make sure to update your settings. So I'm just gonna copy this real quick, just in case, because if you do have that set up, we're gonna need to deal with that later. Get started. Okay, so it looks like we have three steps. We got three steps to, to set up this Buy With Prime. Set up payments. Payments are processed and dispersed through Shopify payments. So I'm assuming if you already have a store running, you have Shopify payments set up already. So you would have to turn on Amazon Pay as a wallet within your Shopify payment settings. I mean, let me go back into my real store. So we would go to settings down here. And then in, in the settings, you want to go to payments. Where is it? Here it is, payments. And yeah, I mean, I have some different options here, but yeah, you can see where I did my crypto pay and PayPal. <laughs> so after we install the Amazon app, you should have this in your payments. Uh, and click on activate Amazon pay. So you're gonna have to get all of this stuff from Amazon, Amazon client ID, seller ID, token, and all that. Mm. I just switched to English for you. Amazon Pay. Yeah, so, okay. I'm gonna pause this video right here because I need to ask you some questions and check if you have this kind of thing set up. All right, so I'll talk to you later.